Hello, this is Skillet 1986. And today I'm going to be showing you how to cook. They're called skillets. Um, skillets level smoky. Oh no, okay. Get this, get this. Skillets killer wieners. Wrapped in bacon. Now, the things you're going to need to start with this is um, maple syrup. Pure maple syrup. It can be anything. It can be um, great value. Uh, it can be Myers. It can be Kroger. But I've chose great value because it's cheaper. It's Walmart brand. So, um, Next off, um, French's Honey Dijon Mustard. And, and then next we have, yes, brown sugar. You can eat, again, you can use any kind of brown sugar. It can be anything. Um, well, let's see here now. It, it can be anything. It can be, you know, yeah, it can be anything. The next thing you're going to need, measuring spoons. For this one, we're going to use the tablespoon. And, yeah, that's it, that was. Next, we're going to need a one-third cup, measuring cup, and a one-fourth cup. Then you're going to need toothpicks, 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 and you're going to need a bowl. Any kind of bowl will do. Make sure it's open wide and a whisk. You need a whisk for many for for many things. Um, next, a spatula. I chose purple because it's my crew color on my game. So, yeah, go DMSC. Um, and uh, this is my scooper spoon for the light brown sugar and scissors. Any kind of kitchen shears will do, but scissors I chose. And you're going to need a pound of little Smokies for this great episode. And you're going to need bacon. Oh yeah, bacon. That's what it is, boys and girls. Bacon! Um, this is private selection. I recommend... Uh, Plum Rose. Plum Rose is really good bacon, but it's also expensive. If you want a cheaper one, choose Private Selection. It's a Kroger product. It's really good. So, okay. But today I'm going to make a double recipe, but down below I will post the recipe, everything, all the instructions. So if you want to, you can actually use it. Um, well, let's get started. Yes. And I almost forgot, okay. You're going to need some pans. Any, any, any kind of baking pans will do. I just chose a big one because I'm going to make a double batch. So, without further ado, here we go. I'm, you're not going to see, see my face for a little while because I'm going to be cutting here. If you're going to look at, the, watch the cut, you know, I mean, mix it all, you know. Yeah, okay. First off, usable cutting board. Yep, you need a cutting board. And let's mix some food. Here we go. First off, 
What you're going to do is, is mix one third cup of brown sugar. Brown sugar, that's this bad boy right here. Uh, kind of hard here. Okay. One third cup, which is this. Yes. All right, we're gonna pour that sucker right in there. Flat it down a little bit. To make a double batch, I'm gonna put take this one, put another batch in there after I dump this in there. All right, there's your brown sugar. Now you dump it in, and then we're gonna make another one, another sugar batch. And sometimes when that doesn't work, you hold on a second here. When that doesn't work, you ah use a a knife to smooth off the edges like so smooth it off and then you got another one Woo! it's right in there see that yes okay now we're gonna put one fourth cup of maple syrup I have one already opened that I used from last time that I made these. And we're going to put one fourth cup of maple syrup. So I put one in there. Tap on the side. I put another one in there. Alright. And then Next, we do next one we do is honey jar mustard, one tablespoon of honey jar mustard, and I have one open right here. One tablespoon. That's the big one, kids. That is the big one right there. That's the big one. All right. We're just going to lift up the top and squirt the little thing in there. See that? Squirt it in there. Level that a little bit. See that's honey Dijon mustard right there. You pour that in there. And then you pour another. Let me get it to where you can actually see it come out. Another thing of honey dijon mustard. You pour that one right in there. And close the sucker up. My new, my new cooking aid that I'm going to use. Alright. So I don't get nothing on me. Alright, here we go. Now they have that one all on there. I can actually do something else. Yeah, that looks better like it does look. Okay. And now what you want to do with the spool, so you have all that in there? All that in there? Yep. 
what you want to do is get your whisk out. Just blend it all in there. Just blend it till it comes out nice and smooth. It's like texture. Go back and forth. What you want to do is go back and forth, or you, and then you just go around. Yes. And this will be our topping for our sausages. Let's go over there. It should trail just like like that. Well, you probably can't see in there because it's so dark right there. But that's how it's supposed to look. It's supposed to look like a darkish brownish color, yellowish kind of brown. Oh yeah, that's the sauce. And next we will put. Next, get out your. Oh yeah, I forgot. Preheat your oven to 350 degrees. What you want to do is preheat the oven to 350 degrees. Fahrenheit. Not Celsius, but Fahrenheit. So now we have that set 350. We can actually um Well, um, give me a second. My battery's about to die on my screen, so I'm going to need to get my charger. Give me one second. Sorry about that, guys. Just plug my charger in. Okay. Now what's next, you say? Well, here it is. This is what's next. You take your cutting board. You lie it down. And what you want to do? You take your bacon. Take your long piece of bacon and lay it down right there. Then you get out your little smokies, these little smokies in there, your little ones. And then you just want to get it down here real quick. What you want to do is you want to wrap it just like that. Wrap it just like like that, like it says right there, right right there. And then I'm gonna cut it off. We'll fold it over. And then take the toothpicks. Toothpick. And you fold it. Right where you folded it, you put the 
is right there and then you sew a hold it in place. It should look just like that. Okay. Now, what you want to do is now what you want to do is um take your pan and where did my point? Oh, right up there. You need foil. You're going to have to line your foil up like so. Then long enough sheet. Just like so. Just long enough. That's going to go away. I missed. So soon. But what you want to do is you line up the pin like so with tin foil. Right there. And what you want to do is put your smoke on the foil. So I'm going to set that aside while we wrap more. So you just keep on wrapping them. Keep on and keep on wrapping them. It's probably going to be the longest video I've ever done in my life. But, to prove it. To prove that I kind of like to put my scissors in there again. Leave them out. Now so see, you just wrap it. Put another toothpick in there. Just like that. And you put it back on the tray. Just keep doing it over and over and over and over again. Until you get the right, um, to get the proper amount. So what you want to do after you get all that done, you set your timer for 35 minutes, and then you put it in that oven. And once you're done, once it smells like mm, bacon heaven, you just take it out and put it in a crock pot for like a party. If you're having a party, or if you're by yourself, I mean, you know, keep them warm. But all you gotta do is keep them warm. Some of you may have a stove setting that says warm, mine's old, so I have to use a crack pot. So, I'm gonna make another hot dog. Well, like I said, though, 35 minutes. Any longer than that, then it may burn. So I'm making these for my best friend. He's recovering from surgery. I'm going to bring him some tomorrow as mom's house. So, now we get another slice of bacon. I recommend not getting the thinner cut because I have like a thin piece in the middle and that could break. I recommend just getting bacon, thick cut bacon. Not thinner cut, but thick cut. So, yeah, just like I said, just wrap them and then cut. 
until you get the perfect bacon wrap. Then you just get a little, little one of these. So I'm going to make a whole thing of bacon scraps. I'm going to put them all in there and run this overnight while I'm at work. I'm warm. Once I know I'm warm, and once I get done from work, I get off, I come back, I pick it up, I go to his mom's house. So, then you want to make another. It's going to take a while, so if you want to uh, wait, you know, just fast forward until you reach the part where I have to cook it. So, okay, I'm not going to like, when I put it in the oven, I'm going to make another video to where I take it out of the oven once it's done. And then I can show you what they turn out to be. Um, yeah, so this is just a part of me making the wraps. But once I get this pan done, I'll just show you how to pour it on, you know. And then we'll go from there. So, I'm just going to do this until all these run out. Should be plenty of them. Just like that. You just pet it. Yeah. And then you get another one. Then you wrap the sucker up. Just like that. So this is my side project. When I'm not working. Where I'm not doing food on the mine. Um, sometimes I don't have enough money to actually do food on the mine, so I do these instead. It just gives me time. I just love doing it. It's like my favorite hobby. I mean, I love my job and all, but I like this better. That's going to be a chef, so I mean, one of Should be a good one right there. Oh, yeah. And there's another one in here. Two or something. Which one do you get another? And then another one. Here's another English cocktail thing. Things want to wrap her up in there. Just like that. And then we'll cut it. If this one doesn't work, this video. If it stops, um, I will uh, continue on with another video. Part 2. Of skillets. Cook and show. And then the candy wrap up in a hot dog. She likes it. And 
too sticky. She looks like that. So, yeah, I'll go hot dogs now. I'll open up my other package. For hot dogs. So, I'm going to do is try to get in there. Cut it on an angle. And cut over the top of it. Slice that through. Open up here. Take one of that. And wrap it in bacon. Just like that. I'm going to do this on a regular basis too. I'm going to show you people how to make other foods. Like one day I'll try to make broccoli casserole. Then another day I'll make cheesy potatoes. And then another day, I don't know, I'll try to make other stuff. I mean, pizza, probably. Make your homemade pizza. You know? um, yeah. We get another thing of bacon. Another Uyghur on it. Ripper. Whoop whoop. I'm so mean, I'm sorry. I love dogs. I respect dogs. Dogs are awesome, man. Dogs are awesome. Down on there. Just another little snuff. He wrap her up on the side here. Nope. Okay, come on. Wrap that up here. Make sure it's in the center. And then you take another little smoky. Wrap that up. Just like so. And then you can flip it around a little. Like so. Stick that little thing right in the middle. Make sure you catch on the other side. And then you get another piece of bacon. Layer it. Want me to sing a song? Okay. To pass the time, you know. Mm. I'm a religious guy, so I like to sing. Religious music sometimes. And also, I sing other things. I like games. I like poison. But. This should be enough for like a lot. There's, there's going to be tons on here, so. Yeah. So I will sing you a song. Let's see. What kind of hymns do I know from churches? Um. Trying to think of one here. Let's see here. What one do I know? How Great Thou Art. One of my grandpa's favorite songs. God rest his soul. Um, I 
I haven't sang in a while. I play guitar and I sing. I'm probably seen some of my videos on um, my page. Um, well, acapella. I'll probably sing this. Go like this. Oh Lord my God, when I am lost in wonder, consider all thy words, thy hands have made. I see the stars, I hear the rolling thunder, I power through the world, the universe is free. Then save my soul, my Savior God to Thee. How great Thou art, how great Thou art. Then save my soul, my Savior God to Thee. How great Thou art, how great Thou art. I only know that first verse. That's the only one I know. So, now we're going for another one. Um, so I'm going to another one. It's called. 10,000 years. It's not a hymn. It's actually a worship thing. It goes like this. It goes like... Ten thousand reasons you're my uh, um, That's not, I don't know how it goes. Off the top of my head. If I had a guitar in my hand, I'd be like singing it like crazy. Um, but yeah, I mean, I used to sing a lot until I got into work, you know, working, and then, you know, I stopped singing, you know, which is unfortunate. I'm fortunate that my work won't, you know, let me sing at my church. Yeah. Hold on, 33 minutes, man. I'm going to go straight for an hour. Yeah. Very longest video I've ever seen in my life. My feet hurt like crazy. Mm. It's okay. Feet are gonna hurt anyway when I stand in arms because I have to grieve at work. For all of those of you who don't know, 
Comic for a retail company called Myers. They are located in Michigan, Ohio, Wisconsin, Indiana, Chicago, I think Tennessee too, but I'm not really sure. Or Kentucky. Um, yeah. So we're trying to spread out worldwide, though. I'm hoping we do. It's a really good store. I, I want you to shop there. No really, I'll probably be done with that. So, and then I'll put these in the oven after we get this oven really done, probably. Just cut it right there. Just wrap around. Relax them. I'm going to show our wieners, so we'll see the wieners in there. I think that's kind of a half inch or an inch. Like hot and bigger because these hot dogs or sausages are bigger. So, you know, gotta make them a little bigger. So we'll wrap around.
Bacon is kind of messy though. I I can tell you, it's kind of messy. So what do you want to talk about? Let's talk about bacon. What things? Write the comments below. What things do you want to see me create with bacon? Because bacon, I use it on everything. Basically. Who doesn't use bacon on everything? You know? Who doesn't use bacon on it? All right, I'm going to open up another package of bacon. Never have too much bacon in your life. No sir. These are perfect. These things are perfect actually. Even though it is sir. These are here. Perfect. See how perfect they, they are though? Perfect slices of bacon. Oh, oh, oh. I want to sell it these smokies. We'll do space all the bacon to part so they don't stick together when they cook it. One, two, three, four, five. Five more leaky left. Uh, 
Alright, after these two, we were done with this one. I think I'm going to be only making one panel. And this one's going to be the bacon's wrapping ever. Mm. I'm going to be the most wrapped bacon in the world. Alright, now that we're done with that, I'm going to show you one more bacon. See all that? That's bacon right there. Bacon wrapped hot dog, smoky. Oh yeah. Now, our next thing to do, mix up this little sauce there, you think. And then we're going to put some of that right on the hot dog. First I'll get a spoon. Maybe a plastic one will be. Plastic spoon. So much more to do with the plastic spoon. There's drills of one on there. Here's a song we need to try that out. If you don't have enough, you can always make more. Which I may have to do. Here you can see. I'm going to do it with deep smoking. Put some
like the best hockey in the world too. If, if you if you people like spicy foods, I would suggest him a pinch of cayenne pepper, the paprika inside this, and make it spicy. Because you can do that. Here we go all over. And I'll bake into the Bacon and to the hot dog. Want to get the glaze on all of it? Just keep out the remaining. It's got that honey kind of flavor to it too. It's gonna make it more sweeter. I thought you were telling me to go to the little corner or anything, basically. I'm just going to add a little bit of spice. And get all that covered on there. Just pour the remaining on. Pour the remaining on over. And just dribble it. Take it to perfection. Do this. Move the stature. Get all of that in there. All of there. Alright, now we got that done. We can put. Now that we got that done, we can put this in the oven. Alright. Move that in there. And then set your timer.
Cool. Thirty five minutes. Start. Then we should go. I get ready for part two. I get ready for part two. Let's go 1986, first video. How?